Hello everybody, welcome back to Blood Bowl 2. It's been two weeks nearly since the last game. I guess we had our bye week just now and what a good time to have the bye week. Man, we've been partying, we've been celebrating our debut season championship here. This last game of the bronze division here, we're on round nine of nine and it's going to be something of a formality really because although it's the Dark Aspects that we're playing who have a team rating of, let's just find them, 1450. I think we're at 16 something or other. Um, um, which is just fantastic. But anyway, let's look at the uh, leaderboard here. As you can see, seven wins, one draw, no losses from our first eight games. The Dark Aspects actually are the second best team, but they're 4-2-2. Two, and two. So really, this game is a formality. We just have to sort of get through it without any deaths, to be honest, or any horrible injuries, because regardless of the result, we are champions of the Bronze Division in our debut season. Let's get into it. There's going to probably be a guard of honour from all those giant tomb guard as we take to the pitch here. At least that's what they do in the Premier League in English football. If a team wins before the last game of the season, then the team they're playing sort of gives them the guard of honour as they're coming up. Not interested in any of this business. Let's just get straight into the game here. Oh, God, they've bought Ali... Babad, who we've seen before, and Hack. I'm not sure what Hack is. Is he another big scare? He's another big scary star you player. My off. goodness, mate. Okay. Ready. Jump. So they've taken on two star players here. Hopefully they're um, going to be secret weapon star players and we can have a good time in the second, third, fourth, fifth and so on plays of the game. But finishing the season here with a Welcome win back, would be sports. very, very good. We're going to start on so offense, of course. My goodness me, here are your Bronze Division champions, lads. And obviously we filled up our squad here. We've got spare throwers, spare linesmen, spare everythings and all sorts of good business here. We could start with some of our rookie linesmen here for the last game of the season to try and just sort them out with some proper uh, SPP. I was going to say XP, but of course it's SPP. Let's have a look at these star players first of all. So this guy is a he is a secret weapon which is good he's regeneration as they all, all the undead do he's armed with a chainsaw instead of making a block roll a d6 on a roll of two or more you you, you make the block you make an armor roll so basically you score a hit okay well if we can if we can hit him really hard with the first play of the game then we're in a great spot okay so we've got our thrower there we've got our runner just a little bit deeper here Ufenvena and Berserkers here. This is quite the standard setup for us, really, with a runner in there. And we've got number three, our extra fast lineman. What we probably want to do is... I don't know. Do we want to have linemen or our runners in the line? Surely we want to have our Ufenvena in the line. That's how we normally set up for defense, isn't it? And it normally works quite well. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll get our runner here with lineman number three in there. So we've got lineman, lineman, lineman. And then we'll just take that swap there. And that's a good little attack for us there. We'll save that. Oh, bloody hell. What have I... I've clicked on that wrong, haven't I? Right. Come on, lads. Get back to your positions. No, that's wrong. Oh, I've messed it up, really, haven't I? I've messed it up a bit here. Okay, I think that's more or less what we do. Except we've only got ten players on the pitch now. Who are we missing? We've got runner, runner, berserker, berserker... Right, right, okay, let's let's put in lineman. I'll tell you what, let's take in a rookie lineman and number 13 as well, should we say? No, not for number three, not for number three. I've messed that up, I've messed that up. Okay, right, 13... Oh, for God's sake, right, sorry about this mess up here. Right, we've got number three playing, our star player. We've got number 14 playing. We have number 12 resting, 13 resting, one... 15 and then two resting. That's good. This will be our setup. This can be the new offensive setup one because this makes sense. Okay, let's do it. Let's... Do we have more than 11? Oh, God, we still have 10. Of course, yes, we needed someone in the deep field, didn't we? Okay, well, it could be another thrower, actually. That might not be a bad idea. No. You know what? Yeah, we'll give we'll give number 16 a debut as well. We've got like a full back and a half back there. Okay, right. There we go. Okay, a bit of a muddle here. I guess I'm still reeling from that championship dinner last time that the mayor of uh, Davville threw for us. It was it was a heavy one. Uh, any player of Real Bivs who's not in the tackle zone gets to move. Where's the ball gone? Jesus Christ, that was a good kick, wasn't it? Okay, Um. well, go, go get it, number 11. Go get the ball, my man. 
Kraken to... Oh. Okay, well, there we go. At least we're in a good position for it. Right, now, first things first. Let's hurt this guy. We're going to get three dice on him. And if we can knock him down, that's a very good roll to kick us off with. Oh, and he's going to sidestep, is he? Okay. Well, we've knocked him down. He's KO'd! He's KO'd for the only play that he's allowed to be on! <laughs> no chainsaw in today, thanks very much. Okay, right. Now let's see about how we're going to hurt them and get into good positions to score. Because just because we don't need to win this game doesn't mean that we want to not win this game. So let's look at just making some big hits first of all. Uh, we might even, you know what, think about blitzing there with the Berserker. But this is probably the position that we're going to run down. So moving the runner in there, I'm not really sure what I was thinking of there. But we're going to probably move our other runner down here. And this really is going to be the side that's going to see the action here in this game. So we're going to have our other thrower run back just to guard our ball carrier. But he's going to obviously pick up the ball first, hopefully. Let's just take a big hit here. And that's, 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 that's good enough, I think. That's, that, that'll do the job. Good bit of frenzy going on there, getting us moving in. Okay, and we'll have the same going down here, if you don't mind, from number five. It's another good roll. I tell you what. Man, we're living up to our name as champions, aren't we? This is going tremendously. Okay, right. Now we want our berserkers just running across. We've still got linesmen here who can blitz. Maybe we should look at blitzing their other star player wherever he is. He's over there. We're not really going to get it. Okay, well, let's just have let's just have some guys. Strength five. He's got movement. He's got extra movement here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll blitz there. And then they've only got really a couple of players. I know they're big players, but they've only got a couple of players that can run in and do players some real to damage to us. Team. That is... No, nah, we'll take our pro reroll here. And no, we won't. Okay, so we'll just slap each other in the face a little bit with that one. Okay, right. So anyway, we've got Berserkers blocking where this ball's going to run to. We'll just have this guy coming in there to support. We'll have number 11. Pick this football up, please. <laughs> No good, man. We'll have to re-roll that one, won't we? Okay, there we go. That's two two fumbles already from our number 11. Maybe he is reeling from the uh, mayor of Davville's party. I tell you what, though. When you win the championship, you're allowed to throw a party, right? Okay, I think this is a good enough position. I can't see them getting to us. And we've got our runners here ready to break out and make a play, depending on where they go. I'm sure we can react to it. Good turn one, my boys. Good turn one. Living up to our names as champions. Scoring the KO on their star player there, who's a secret weapon. So he's not going to be back in the pitch. So we're never going to see that chainsaw go down on us, which is just the job, isn't it, really? And we've got our Berserkers, we've got an Oofenvenor, we've got a Yeti that can run across. And all they really need to do is make, make a little gap here for one of our runners to get through. And we'll see if we can toss them the ball for an early score in this game. And it should be pretty good. A little bit worrying for this Oofenvenor. Looks like he's going to get nastily blitzed if that is indeed where the blitz is going to go down. But I'm not really sure why it would. This guy's going to jump up. Okie dokie. Ah, this is the blitz that we thought it was going to be. Yeah, this is going to be a bit painful for our Oofenvenor. That's not the worst rolls that we could ever see. He's going to get knocked down. He's going to get stunned, as a matter of fact, but that's okay. We've got lots of guys ready to step in if someone does get hurt in this game. Now, we have a full roster, which is just brilliant. And we've got lots of eager young linemen ready to make their debuts. In fact, we've only got one eager young lineman ready to make his debut because our other thrower is making his debut as well, as well as number 14. Okay, right. Now we have to make space. Now we have to make some space. With our Yeti, we're only going to get a one dice there. We're going to get a two dice there. Okay, let's... Let's first of all take a pretty standard two-roll hit there. We'll push him out the way a bit. It's not it's not the best result, but we'll push him out the way. That leaves number three able to do something. We've got our Berserker here who's going to be looking at some poor, poor, poor dice here. The space that I'm looking at is going this way, into the middle of the field. Because our runners are a hell of a lot quicker than these guys. And these are the guys that are going to stop us. So maybe we want to be looking at taking this business into the middle of the field now. Maybe with a blitz. If we can score a blitz to here. If we can just get number three to here to support this hit with our Yeti on there. Then we're going to get two dice on that big guy. Don't do that to me, man. Damn it. That's our blitz action wasted as well. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. I mean, we can, we can live with it, but it's it's really annoying. Frenzying's going to be putting us in range there, but that's a good, good hit. And now our runner does look like he can make some sort of run here. 
We'll have one runner as a blocker. And one runner as a runner here. Unfortunately, it is a wasted blitz action. So we'll just move one up to here. We have we have our other thrower here who's going to be making an unlikely hit on this guy. At the moment, it's probably going to be two red dice. But we can turn that into one good dice. Uh, one white dice, I guess we call it. There with this hit, I think. Yes, we do. Come on. This would be a great debut for you. And it's going to be. It's going to be a big hit. Oh, do behave. Number 16 showing absolutely fearless. Fearless blocking there. Okay, and then I think we can move our ball carry just up to here. We'll keep number 7 just as a guard. I think he's actually in the perfect position right now. And we're ready to throw this ball. You know what? We will just move number 7 to there. This guy has got to go for it if he wants to blitz. So does that guy. And they're going to have to go past our Yeti and our Berserker. So I think we're in a really safe situation there. It's great blocking from our team. And it looks like we may, we may just get a runner through if we can. They're, they're looking to block here. But we've got number three. Let's remember, he's almost basically a runner as well because he's so quick. And we've got number, I can't, that's number 10 there ready to go down the right. So we've got options here. We've got lots of lots of options here. As formality as this game is, you want to win your formalities, don't you? There's there's no game that you can afford to lose here. And we've, we've really come out the gates well here. Okay, so they are going to have to go for it. This is the Blitz. They are going to have to go for it. How many times am I going to have to say this before he actually gets there? Okay, he's managed to go for it. And he's rolled not well enough. But now he's rolled well enough. So we are going to be dispossessed here. I thought we might have been a bit safer with that one, but we can recover. We can recover quite well. It has turned it... Oh, dear, oh, dear. Number 14, that is, on his debut will not be stopped. Okay, right, that's... God, we've just got to, we've just got to have a little bit of a recovery now. Our Yeti can come in and just make this play. Don't be wild animal in on me again, buddy. Okay, there we go. That's good enough, and that is not a brilliant roll to be honest. So we'll have to just push him out the way a little bit. But at least that defends the ball. Lovely stuff. Okay. Oh god. And I forgot about his frenzy. That could have been a bit nasty if we'd rolled poorly. But there we go. Okay. That's getting a bit messy. Do we want to just see if we can try and get a runner to pick it up? Or should we see if we can continue to make a move out here and our thrower could maybe just get up and toss the ball in one turn. That's going to be poor dice. That's going to be good dice but he's frenzying. Um, got a lot of stuff here. Looking at some poor, poor, poor dice rolling though. No, nothing, nothing really looking much good there. Okay, what we should do then. If we can blitz around here with number 14. Oh, of course we've used our blitz with our Yeti. Let's remember that. Hmm. Yeah, it's red dice across the board right now, isn't it? Okay, let's stand our fella up here. And let's have a look at their other star player, actually. We haven't really looked at him already. Uh, no, I just want to look at him. He is a secret weapon as well, and he's loner, regeneration, sidestep. He's more of a scorer, isn't he? We've seen him before, of course. Okay, right. Let's actually think about what we're going to do, because obviously our guy wants to go and recover the ball. It's raining, so he's going to have a poor bit of picking up. Um, but I think he's done, he's done a good job there. Okay, now I think... Oh, where's the danger to him right now? We should have done this last, actually, because we can't now go and move someone. So what I think we need to do is just put him there. And I'm almost sort of regretting that decision already. Uh, and now we'll see if we can knock some folk around, especially a big hit with 14 on number 6. Could be a massive one. We'll have to take our team re-roll there. And that's a much better re-roll, although we have now used both of our re-rolls already. Should have probably put him to the side instead of uh, into this square instead of this square, because now we're going to get a strength bonus down onto our poor number 5 there. But that's okay. We'll follow on. A, a, good, a good solid hit there, I think we can say. Now, red dice. Ooh, 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 ooh. That'll be that'll be a 67% dodge for number three. He's a good dodger. That's going to be red dice there. Hmm. That's going to be a 67% dodge as well with our runner. Maybe our runner could start, you know, looking at making a play here. He's just got to make one dodge, and he's not made that dodge. Well, he's a pro. He can re-roll, and he's failed. That's both of our pro re-rolls failed this turn. That's not very good at all, really. My plan for the rest of that turn, he'd have gone into position, and then we'd have had a couple of other guys just close in around the ball carrier as best as we could, and then we'd have had the throw next turn. Unfortunately, 
a couple of the dice rolls don't seem to be going our way at the moment. We seem to be rolling quite poorly on the D6s and reasonably well at the moment on the tackle dice or block dice or whatever you call them. Ugh, not brilliant, but well, we still have possession of the football, so that's okay. We still have a reasonable guard around our ball carrier, although it could be better. They're using their blitz action just on number five here. For all of these, he's not really been involved in the play this turn. He's done very well in absorbing their big hits, and that, that can't be so bad because we have block on a lot of our guys, so that's pretty good. So our ball carrier is going to remain in possession of the ball for this turn at the very least, and you know what? It may even be that he... He wants to run it. Maybe maybe that's the kind of game that we're going to be in here. Or maybe number 10 can sneak out. Sneak out down here. You never know. Okay, this guy wants to stay. Whoa, son. What was that? What the hell was that? That was... I'm not sure about that. Okay, no long-term effect. That's our runner on his debut getting getting cheated out there not happy about that at all okay but what it has done is it has given us space to now go down and try and make a make a play there if we can get him to there he's gonna get tackled there though okay let's do some basic things first like you know hit this big fella oh push him out the way then i guess I'm worried about our Yeti. I feel like he's going to ruin it all for us. No, that was a very good roll. My faith was well placed in our Yeti on that occasion. Good stuff. Okay, we are making a bit of a gap here. What we do need to do, though, is definitely, I think it's number 10 that needs to be making the play here for us. He's got a... That's, that's a lot of dice rolling there. Okay. Right, we'll bring him to there. That's as far as we can go. And we can get a guard around him. That Oof and Venet can smack down one of these guys. We've got a Berserker that can make a play and do some block in there. That's going to be very, very good. Okie dokie. And now, if we just take that hit, that's going to be a two dice hit with Frenzy, which firstly hasn't looked brilliant, but we can we can make it again. Not really anywhere that useful to push in, but we're going to get another dice at this, and that's a fantastic dice roll. Very, very good work. I said we were doing well at the block dice today, and, well, I've been proved reasonably right so far. Okay, and then we'll just get our other Berserker down there. And that's looking like a pretty good safe spot for, hopefully, what is going to be our ball carrier soon. Let's just stand a couple of our guys up, including that runner. We haven't actually blitzed this turn, have we? Uh, we'll stand this guy up as well. He's done very well in just keeping keeping number eight out of the game. Okay, now we'll make this throw. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll run to here and make the throw where there's no... Or you know what? Maybe we'll just run to there. And it's just another blocker. That's very, very good. Okay, what a good position that we're in now. One dice there. We might as well take it. Number 14's had a good debut so far. That's a black mark on his record, though, if we're honest. He's going to get knocked down. Oh, bloody hell, and injured. Fine. God damn it. Okay, no long-term effect, but he's out for the game. Well, that's... Both of our debutants have been injured in the first half. Welcome to Blood Bowl, lads, really. Welcome to Blood Bowl, but it looks like we are in a very, very good position to score here. We've got both of our Berserkers blocking where most of their guys are going to come from. Um, that guy couldn't really blitz anyway. Our Yeti and our Oofenvener are doing a very good job in keeping their big hitters busy. Our linemen are just blocking as many as they can. And then we've got a runner, our thrower. And we've got a good little squad here ready to go and score. So this is this is a good looking situation that we've got. Although they do have a blitzer that can make it, but he's gotta he's gotta break a few tackle zones. Oh and he has. Oh but he's rolling poorly and he's only gonna be able to push our guy out the way at two red dice there. And of course he's gonna throw but all we need to do here now is, well, number eight can take control of this. He can just knock this guy out the way. And then we've got a clear run with number 11 into the end zone, which would be tremendous. Okay, yeah, they're not really going to achieve much else here. This is a good, good, good opening to our game. And, of course, this guy's going to continue to get battered. But, again, not so badly. Not really so badly, if we're honest. That's not bad, is it? That's, that's okay. I'm going to say it's not bad again. I've said that a few times in relation to that play okay right well let's take the play that we need to make and that's a good good hit and we'll just knock him behind very nice that sounded painful that's a great injury a great bit of spp for number eight who really had quite a poor start to the season quite ineffective but very 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 good in the later stages of this season not really sure we're going to get any good dice here so i think we'll just take oh god we're gonna have to go for it are we we could get our runner in there just so that he can go and pick it up. If this guy falls on his ass, 
we've got a runner that can go and just recover the ball. And everyone else is still in a good position to block. But no need. He's made it in. Fantastic touchdown. Really, really good. Boris Staffenson. How many touchdowns has this guy made, run, thrown? Really, really good player for our team. And man, well, Ali Babad is off. The other guy is off. Hack is off. Oh dear, what are they going to do now? Now, this is our usual setup in defense. Who have we got? We've got uh, these two guys missing. Who's on our bench? We've got 2, 12, and 15. Well, we'll give 15 his debut. Number one can sit out with his with his poorly leg. So we've got number three, who's our normal guy that can break out and blitz the ball carrier. Although this formation that we're against here probably doesn't look like it's going to happen. But whatever, Bob Bifford, I'm bloody talking, mate. I'm talking, okay? Right, yeah, normally we can blitz the ball carrier with number three because our Yeti sort of clears a path in the line of scrimmage and then number three sprints out and makes a great play. At the, oh, man, it could still happen. That's a, as generally poor a kick as that is. It's actually quite good in terms of the formation that we're against here, so we won't complain about that one at all. That is a good, good thing to have happen to us. Tremendous. We'll have to see where they're going to look. It looks like they're going to... Well, with four Tomb Big, big Scary, non-agilic, strong Tomb Guardians, normally this is a team that likes to run the ball, although they do have a throw Ra with a few good abilities about him. I'm not really sure. It looks... It's open for us to blitz, though, isn't it? It really is. We'll have to see here. It doesn't even look like anyone cares about picking. Who's going to pick the ball up? They're not going to have a Tomb Guardian with his one agility pick it up, are they? What are they doing? Hmm. Not gonna be not gonna be a blit oh, it's gonna be that oh of course they're thrower. For some reason I didn't think he was in range, but of course he is. He's gonna make a successful pick with sure hands he is. And here comes a blitz on poor old number five. Well all he's done this game is get hit, but he's done it very, very well. And this one looks like it might be a little bit painful though. Eek! Ow! Oh, well <laughs> you take so many hits to the head, it's gonna happen eventually. That's a bit poor though. It's a bit poor. Luckily, we've got guys that can come and step in, but he's one of our specialists, and we don't have a replacement, Ufen Venom, because we're not allowed to have a replacement, Ufen Venom, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, they've actually uh, disrupted us quite well here. It looks like they're going to go down the right-hand side. But our Yeti, well, number 15's in there to blitz the ball carrier. On his first play of his Blood Bowl career, he might be able to go and just blitz the ball carrier straight away here. Let's have a look. Let's think about what we're going to do here. We've got... Well, well, just recover the ball. Get the ball, right? Let's have our Yeti just make a good play first of all. Or, you know what? Let's have our Yeti cause a bloody turnover. How many times does that happen? And how many times do you get stunned as a result? God damn it, Dragmal. Sometimes I think you're my best player. Sometimes I wish I never even started you on the pitch. That's very, very, very poor. Because now poor old number 15 isn't going to get his opportunity to blitz the thrower on his first ever play in the Blood Bowl League here. That's going to be so disappointing. All he's done, all our whole team did there was was stand there and watch watch our guy rep, just That's get knocked down game. by a skeleton for three dice. Man, football. that could have been hella worse for six dice. And he's just going to get pushed back. Oh, I'd be disappointed if I was that number, number three. Is that number three? That's number ten. I'd be disappointed if I was number ten. But it, it looks like they're running the ball and they've got a really good, really, really good guard around it now. Because we haven't had that opportunity. That's Thanks a lot, Dragmal. Oh, lots of three dice here. But number three, best player on our team. Always the best player on our team. Absolutely will not be stopped. Okay, let's move people. You know, we have our order of way we have our order of things that we like to do in blood bowl let's stick to them right we move our fuck guys then we do our blitz and then we do our hits and then we do our throws or skilly things okay let's this guy's just stuck we might get one dice there no we're not gonna get one dice here. we're probably looking at two dice here though we are so we'll take that hit i want to pretty much bring almost everyone here i want to keep a berserker just on this side of the field just in case they try and switch to play here. But I'm going to just try and have a big fat line of guys. That's and we're it. just going to literally have a sort of push of war here. And nothing's going to stop us. That's a good hit though. Any injuries that we can score in a game like this is going to be perfect. No chance of blitzing the ball carrier though. Um, 
we'll have to look at what else we can do. We've got we've got poor dice there. I mean, we can blitz. We can blitz with this guy for one dice, and it's a frenzy. So we're gonna we're gonna re-roll this one. Let's see what he's gonna hit now. It's gonna be a good good hit. Oh, we like we like your play number seven. Clear that field. Okay, they've got no blockers on this field now. And he scored a stun. And he can move back inside. So that's a really, really, really good play by number seven. He can even swing around and hit the ball carrier from behind now. Should we take a risk on a couple of red dice? Could be worse, man. Could be worse. Okay. Um, I'm feeling kind of lucky here. Number 15. This would be a hell of a play on your debut. Although we're asking to have a bad thing happen here. Not so. Not so much. Um, I guess we'll stay. But this guy's just pushed a bigger guy across. That's not bad for your debut, is it? And we'll take, we'll just take a hit there with number three, as we always do. And we'll push this guy further out of the way. I'm not even sure who's getting pushed where now. Um, but we'll follow. So we've got pressure on that ball carrier. That's a great hit. Number three is just... Well, he's got to be our MVP for the season. Who is our MVP of the season, really? I've got to say, I've got to make a shout for number 11, our thrower. Definitely got to make a shout for number three. SPP-wise, our best player has been our Yeti, but he's cost us so many good plays as well as he's made. I've got to think That's maybe, awesome. maybe Even not. Number three has been solidly reliable. I think he's our most touchdown scorer as well. He scored more touchdowns than our runners. Anyway, that's a good block. That's a... Ooh, they've re-rolled well there. How many re-rolls did they have? We didn't even really look at that before the game. Oh, no! The, what's it? What is this? The curse of the... Debutants. All three of our debutants in this game have been injured. The poor fellas. The poor, poor fellas. They've only got... I think they've only got... Um, Yeah, they've only got the one turn after this for this half so I'm pretty sure that uh, that we're safe from scoring so really we just want to try and score an injury or just try and get some SPP for our guys man I mean this guy's nearly a level four yeti he's definitely earned the most SPP of any of our players but would I would I say he's been our best player of the season no because in some games he's been our best player but in other games he's been massively our worst player of the season our best player of the season I have to say probably number three Maybe number 11. I couldn't make a case for either of our runners because either of our runners have done, you know, great work. Oh, we're losing strength there. Oh, man, that's not looking good at all, is it? Okay. Um, right. If we just all pile into this guy, they're never running the football into the end zone. It's not in sight. They're only halfway, and this is a slow team that we're against here. Oh, we've got it up to a dice. We've got it up to a dice, man. Can't can't get worse. Let's let's hit him. Two dice on a big guy and a good hit on a big guy. Oh, beautiful work. Okay, right. Should we see if we can sneak a little a little foul? Forty-two percent. Uh, can we afford to have someone sent off? We got. I mean, we've got players to come in, haven't we? Um, let's let's just see what else we can do now. We'll stand our yeti up. We'll try and score a one dice hit here, and it's a good. Un. It's a big old lovely good. Un. Excellent. But yeah, when I think about our standout players, our standout players of the season, I'm thinking number three and I'm thinking nine, ten and eleven. Everyone's had their moments, don't get me wrong, but those four especially, they'd be the ones that I'd nominate. They'd be the ones that I'd nominate at the award ceremony. You know what? Bloody this guy piled on and hurt our guy. Let's see how he likes it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice and aggressive. Ah. Oh. We never get those rolls, do we? Even when we could bribe the ref, we still had our guy sent off. Oh, well. Serves you right, mate. Serves you right. Okay. Well, that's our turn done. They have got one turn left, and I don't think it's going to be much of an effective turn in terms of the game, really, here. We'll just have to see. That was a nice swig of water I just had. Mm. I think I've got a bit of a hole in my tooth. I'm actually going to swig some water here. Basically, I had, um, in one of my wisdom teeth, I got some food stuck between my wisdom tooth and the tooth that's in front of it, and I couldn't get it out for days. I was picking at it, I went to the pharmacy, and I had, I got, like, special things designed to help you floss teeth, and it was just stuck so bad, and I finally got it out, and I swear it shifted my tooth back, and there's an actual gap in between my two back teeth at the moment. It's oddly satisfying 
to use... Uh, it's not really a flossing thing. It's more just like a really, really, really thin toothbrush that can get in any cracks and crevices. And it's so satisfying to use. I don't know why. It's just really... I don't know. I'm doing it now. It just feels good, man. Oh, my teeth are hella clean. But my God, it was satisfying to get it out. I've never felt satisfaction in such a simple um, activity than that. Okay, half time, 1 0 up. Three injuries and ascending off. Not brilliant, really, but when you've got a big full so, roster, the then it's all right. Seem to have One of the, in time not for the next players back. Oh, God, have we actually got enough players here? What have we got here? We've got four, six. Okay, we do have enough players, but we can't lose anyone else. Okay, right now we're in defense. This is a weird setup here. Frozen. No, 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 no. Treacherous Fjord. The last setup we did, I liked and it worked. We have number one in. We have number. I'll we'll just switch these two over because this guy's a bit quicker, so he wants to be on the outside. And then we've got lineman, lineman. Thrower. Thrower can play there. Why not? And we've got runner. Just going to switch these two over. That'll do us. Okay, right. Here we go then. Eight turns left of the season. And we'll take a... We'll try... We'll try, We'll go for a deep kick here. Just a slightly deep one. A better kick than last time. That looks like a good kick. And we get a reroll. Three rerolls here. They had three, so they now have four. That's a fantastic kick. It really, really, really is. And let's see what they do. I don't think they're going to score, you know. They're such a slow team. It's going to be turn 10 at the earliest before they even get it to the halfway line. And that's if it goes badly for us. We'll just have to see. Yeah, like a good old Not got a lot of hitting to do. So, yeah. Hey, guys, in the comments, why don't you vote for our MVP? My nominations are our lineman number three, both of our runners, nine and ten, and our thrower number 11. Who gets your vote, lads? Who is player of the season? Player of the regular season, because of course we're we're qualifying for the Mega Cup or whatever it's called. I don't know. We'll have to have a look at the stats at the end of this game. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that's your free reroll wasted, isn't it, silly guy? There you go. Okay, he's had sure hands this time though, and he has got the ball. And here's the blitz. It's a big roll. Poor old number six. Oh, Uffenbener have been a bit unlucky this game. But that's okay. It could have been worse. But that's not a bad roll either. They've used their re-roll, of course. So any tackle that they make here, they're going to be sticking with the block, guys. Okay, they've rolled well. Right. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We've got three players here that can go and rush that ball carrier. And that's what they're going to do. Let's go and move them first. We've got 11, we've got 9, and we've got 7. Odd numbers for the win here, lads. Odd numbers for the win. Let's get that ball carrier. Let's get him. Let's get him. Lovely. I know there's a Tomb Guardian there. I, I have seen it. I have seen that big fella. Don't worry. But we can blitz him. Oh, we're still looking at bad dice. Okay. Oh, that's number two. Oh, of course, we moved our thrower across. Well, it's number two with the big play. Oh, maybe the not-so-big play. Get on your feet, you silly guy. Get on your... Bloody hell, man. All you have to do is not roll a one there. That's terrible. That's terrible. Going for it. And he rolled a one twice. Oh, lordy. Okay, you know, you remember what I said about how I don't think they're going to score? They might. They might score. <laughs> Um, but hey, man, it's okay. But that's really poor. Number two, you had a chance to maybe get yourself into the nominations there, but not not now. Not now. Absolutely no way, my man. Okay, what are they doing? They're just getting a big guard around the ball carrier here by the looks of things. Hmm. Yeah, not a, not a good, not a good, not a good opening to the second half. We came flying out the blocks in the first half and then we sort of just tailed away. And it looks like we're starting the second half in the same way that we ended the first. But we do have that one to nothing lead and we are getting beat up here. And their ball carrier is now well guarded. A lot of our guys on their backsides. This might be an unpleasant half of Blood Bowl, lads, to be honest. Is approximately the same size right, that's as just a push. That's opponent. not so bad. That's really not so bad. Okay. No. No, that guy needed to stay on his feet because then we'd have we'd have done some punching down here and who knows how differently it would have been. But apparently someone over two dice 
you know, can't roll, can't roll all, all rolls of one. As they're piling on, that bloody awful person. Awful, awful person, number nine. You are not a nice fella. And I can't wait. In fact, no, they're going to get promoted with us because they're the second place team, aren't they? Right, let's stand everyone up. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, then, just stay down, whatever. Right, this guy can get up and just move a little bit. That's nice. Um, what we can do is try and, try and swing these guys around here. He's got to go for it. I don't trust my going for it rolls anymore, but surely we can't miss, mess it up again. There we go. Good stuff, my man. Okay, right. And we can, with some dodging, most likely, probably get to there. Going for it twice just to get to there. I like that position, though. We've had our slip up here with the going for it, so we should we should get the rest of them right. That's the law of averages. Um, okay. If we could do... Oh. No, we're just not in a good position now, are we? Right, we'll try and blitz with number two. Maybe you can make up for ruining our first turn. Not brilliant, mate, if I'm honest. Not brilliant, but at least you're up and you're on your feet now, eh? Okay, right, now we've got this guy who can try for two red dice. We've got this guy who can try for one red dice or two red dice. Let's just try and get him out of the way. He has his pro re-roll. We'll just push him back for now. He can just go to there and we'll stay. Okay, goodbye, man. Goodbye. Right, now we will try and take two red dice. Not... Yeah, could be worse. Could be worse, couldn't it? No, I do not wish to re-roll the dice. That's, 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 that's an okay result. We'll just get him to there. Oh, no, oh God, and he had frenzy. Oh, goodness me. Okay, didn't... Didn't realise this was our Berserker. We'll we'll take that again for two red dice. That's pretty brave play from number seven there. Pretty brave play to get into a position to maybe, maybe find his way to the ball carrier. Um, number three, do you want to live up to your possible, possible name of best player in the team? I butchered that sentence. MVP is what he is, and I think we'll take that again. Obviously, they're going to choose to be pushed, and we'll, we'll just blow in... Blumin, blumin, blumin. Push him there, then, I guess. He got himself yeah. Good. Not bad dice rolling there, but it's a messy, it's a messy, messy bit of football right now. Um, we'll just get this guy to there. He can actually get there completely safely, so that's okay. Right, that, that, that be our turn then, my man. That be our turn. Okay, now they're on turn 11 already. Okay, yeah. The fact that they're not even halfway makes me think that we're safe from them scoring. But are we safe from them hurting? Oh, it looks like they're going to go for a throw. Is that their throw? Rah? No, that's only the skeleton. And um, what's this? That's only a skeleton as well. Okay, well, I doubt they're going to be brilliant at throwing. But we might want to think about keeping number 12 in the backfield here. Again, that's not bad. They're going to have to use their reroll here just to push a guy over six dice. They've really been rolling quite poorly on the... Um, they've really been bowling. There, my goodness me, I'm biting my tongue a lot right now. They really are rolling quite poorly on the block dice here. Not so bad, and their ball carrier is open. He is open, and who else would it be? But number, oh, I was going to say number three there. It's actually number one, our slow guy. Well, he has done some blitzes before. He's just not been as good at them, and that's annoying that those dice came with our guy that isn't. Isn't a blocker. Okay. Um, what's what's going to go down here? Something a bit nasty. Right. And another big roll. Oh, goodness me. They've actually cleared us up quite well here. But. But. All number three has to do. Oh, my goodness me. Okay, they're rolling quite well at their block dice now. Number two's going to get pushed back a little bit. Number two, I think, is probably. Maybe our. He's played all nine games. He's not made a single piece of SPP yet. He's, I think he's our only player to have scored nothing. Okay, a 50% dodge twice and then a one dice hit. If anyone can make a play like that, it's number three. But I think we can do something better here. We can just get two dice there. That's good. He stood up here. He's done terribly. God damn it, Dragmal. What are you doing, man? Of course you're stunned. Ugh. Oh. Goodness me. We could have re-rolled that, but I want to save our re-rolls because he's a wild animal. And he's a loner. So he's never going to get those re-rolls. A one in six chance. Okay. A very, very poor second half. Maybe we're in holiday mode because the season's over for us already. That's got to be the explanation here. But we don't want to let our perfect record, well, almost perfect record down here by losing. 
Sometimes the bloody poor, bloody poor performance from number four in this game. He's 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 out of contention for MVP here. Oh god, their ball runner has has made it. Oh dear, oh dear. It's been a comedy of errors at the back here for Real Dav in this game, but we do have number nine. One of our contenders for MVP could make a big play here and just dispossess the ball, and that might just give us the turn we need to get guys back and in position to defend on our our 20, 20, 20, 20 yard line. 20 inch line, I guess. This is Blood Bowl, isn't it? It's a tabletop game. So our 20 inch line. Maybe we can just defend that. No, no, they've got very, very good coverage. I think, I think we might, I think we might be suffering a, a draw here, at the hands of some poor play from number four. But I think from nine games, if you win seven and you draw four, number two, number two, making some good moves there. Okay. If it is that we end up drawing our last game, to win seven and draw four. It's not bad, is it, right? We just need to get guys coming back and trying to get into a position to maybe try and defend this now. Okay. We've got guys that can do it. That's going to be some hell of a... Right, if we can get into there. Oh, God, that's a big play. Okay, he can just go to there and then swing around next turn. Now we've got number 11. Who... Oh, for God's sake, again. Okay, well, we'll take a reroll on that one because we've got a lot to do for the rest of this turn. Okay, good stuff. Right, now we've got this guy who can jump up and two red dice. Not really what we're wanting, really, is it? Down there is a good bit of... Ooh, ooh that's risky, actually. That's a that's bit a risky. He can get pushed off. I'm just going to move him in now. Don't slip up, man. Okay, that's that's better play from him. Okay, and now we'll, we'll just try and get guys around, you know. We're just going to try and get guys around. Guys in positions to maybe make plays. We've got number three who can blitz. You've got to dodge at 50%. And 33%. That's that's quite poor. This guy... We've already declared our blitz action, have we? Oh, have we? So it has to be him now. Go on, number three. Make a big play. Okay, maybe not. Well, take your, take your pro reroll. And make a big play. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, the D6s. We've been rolling badly on the D6s today. Well on the... Reasonably well on the block dice poor on the d6s okay well turn 13 now then four turns remain of our season we'll have to see we'll have to see how this ends to be honest result aside if there's no more injuries then we're we're as 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 a cool guy might say we're cushy we're going into the second season with a lot of upgraded guys a lot of an upgraded stadium. Let's not forget we upgraded our stadium and, you know, whatever else we might be able to buy. And we do actually have a couple of guys here that are in a position to possibly make a play and save our game here. He's just been pushed out. Well, he's going to have to push his way back now. Well, let's see where their ball carry goes. We've got number 12 and we've got number 8 swinging round, ready, ready to meet the ball carrier on the 20-yard line. No, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, well, player is unavailable until the end of the match. Oh, he's only KO'd. I thought it said he was injured then. Well, the end of the match is fast approaching us. Let's not worry too much about it. So it's, it's, it's really been quite a horrible game for us in terms of all of this. But it's the kind of situation where it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, number 12. It looks like you might save our game here, my man. Let's see what he can do. They've only got three turns after this, so this is really the last scoring play of the game. I can't see in this game that's been very slow, sluggish, and hitty and fighty. It's not been a very agile running game. This will be the last chance to score in the game, because even if they score with the next turn, I don't think it's going to give us enough time to maybe make it 2-1. But if this guy can... Oh, God, no, I don't like that chance. Okay, well, we'll get, we'll get our other guy to hit. That's good. He will do something. Probably two red dice on both three red dice there, I'd imagine. No, no, just two red dice. Okay, well, let's stand our Yeti up. He's got to go for it, but you never know. This could be a massive, massive, massive thing for us. And it could really redeem him. Ugh. Oh, for God's sake! How and why, man? Stand firm... I don't even know. I don't even know. 
your dad. He's been stunned again. What a terrible performance from number four. He he jetted off on his holidays a turn early. Well, it's down to number eight then to maybe save this game. Really, really poor play from number four. I thought, yes, he's made his wild animal. He's going to knock this guy back and then... Number 12 is going to have a decent hit on here. It won't be two red dice. It'll probably be one dice. And he can push him back. And then we've actually got some guys around the ball carrier. And we can make a play. But no. But no. That guy's a very, very, very good tomb guardian. Actually, number 9. He's got some good abilities about him. This guy just... Just shut up. Just shut up, Dragmal. You've disappointed me on this performance. You've soured. I was considering you as my fifth nomination for MVP. And there's their boy. Unless he slips over, that would be funny, wouldn't it? Oh, dear! Oh, dear, they've got a re-roll. He might mess it up again. He hasn't. Oh, well, there we go. It's only, what, our third... No, it's only our second conceded touchdown of the season. I don't think that's bad. Defense has done a very, very good job for the nine games here. Okay, they have two turns left. And what the hell is this setup, man? That'll do us. That'll do us. Okay. Come on then, guys. The last play of the season. In fact, you know, as much as I... Oh, that's of course they do. As much as I said that it... That's a pretty good kick for them. As much as I said there's not going to be a chance to score, with three turns left, you never know. We've just got linemen out here, though. Where's our other... Oh, our other runner's been knocked down. Okay, that went, that went the bad side then. But you never know, man. 67% pick up with our thrower. If we can just get a guy down, you Quick never easy. know. Nothing to see here. That's good. Right, now let's get a guard around the ball carrier if we can. Uh, we're going to two dice there. There's Don't mess it up, Dragmal. Oh, God, he's going he's gonna to frenzy now, and this will be a mess up, won't it? No, it won't. Of course it won't. Good stuff, my man. Good stuff. That's what we like to see. There we go. Okay, nicely done, my boy. And we should be looking at some good dice there as well on that Tomb Guardian. We'll be re-rolling. And, well, there we go. That sums up the second half, really, for us, doesn't it? There you have it, then. Our chance to score now, maybe a little less. I was going to try and bring this guy over, and then we were going to look at maybe sneaking a runner through. And it might have happened for us, but it looks like we're going to be turning this game in at one apiece. Can't end in a draw. It Do can. It can. It has before. We drew our first game of the season. After that, we went on a seven-game winning streak, and it looks like that winning streak is now is now coming to an end. It's an end of a lot of things. It's an end of the season. It's the end of the streak. But what glorious, exciting opportunities the future holds for Real Dav, right? They've only got two turns left. After that, we've only got two turns left. We can maybe make a running play with a lot of good dice rolls. Number 11 can maybe get the score here, assuming he doesn't get blitzed. He's got a dodge. Assuming he's on his feet at the end of this, he's got a dodge two. Probably make three tackle zones, or maybe not if this guy's tripping up. And then he's got to go for it twice. Both times. So he is going to just get pushed. Oh, he's been pushed infield. Okay. You never know, lads. You never know. It's... You know, more unlikely things have happened in the world. The player's fist is approximately okay, the same size as his entire We can opponent. maybe get number two through, and then he might be able to get some SPP. That's quite a mismatch, Bob. Hmm. Let's see, that was a good roll for him, though. That was a very, 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 very good roll for him. Oh, and a stun. Oh, get out of it! Get out of it! Yeah, that's right, you can't injure number three. Okay, turn 15 for us. So, how do we do it? How do we make a play here? Well, we knock this guy out of the way. Hmm. Dragmal getting in there with a frenzy. And that is... That's a better roll from Dragmal. It's a better roll. It's not great. He's not had a good game, but that's a little better. So, what we do is number two runs to here. With a lot of dodging. But if he can make it, we can maybe toss in the ball. No, he's failed at the first hurdle. Well, you know, sum in the second half up. Really, really, really poor way to end the season. But in all honesty, what does it matter? What does it matter? I think at the, at the start of the season, we'd have taken seven wins, two draws, no losses. Even if this one we sort of petered out. Maybe we've just burnt out half a game too early or something. But our guys are now going to go and definitely enjoy a well-earned rest before the next season. Well, before the postseason. 
Because we do have that Mega Cup now, which is hella exciting. But we're going to be against some bloody good teams in that Mega Cup. The winners of all the other divisions, and they're all better than us on paper. So we'll have to see. We'll really have to make some something work here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get on oh, no, there last turn. Oh, look at that. Dragman with an actual good play there. Hey, there you go. Get a good little turnover for us. Sorry about that noise on the microphone there. I was fiddling with something. Okay, not much to do now. Let's just see if we can take a little bit. We're going to be ending, as I said, at one apiece. And we'll just be doing some basic things here. That's a good little hit. You never know. We might score one injury and then that's a level up. For oh, my goodness me. And we do. And then that's a level up for number eight. What a way to end the season. Fantastic stuff. And he's going to lose a point of armor value. which uh, But they've got that weird regeneration thing. So I'm not really sure how that works. Okay. What a good way to end the season. Right. We can't blitz. Um, we can maybe just get everyone stood up around here. And maybe see if we can get a hit down with that lineman. He's got to go for it a bit as this guy. But we'll just surround this guy. Oh, no. He's going to fall over because we can't. Oh, no. He's not going to fall over. I, I was really, really not feeling him doing a good job there. Okay. Does number three want to take it? No. He's already used his action. So it's going to be number 12 with the last hit on a big guy. And it's a good one. But he's pr that's not the guy with stand firm, is it? So we are going to get a good the hit here. Oh, good work. Good work. Okay. Well, that'll end us for the season then. One or maybe a disappointing game, if you look at the game in it for itself. But still, we're going to get another load of XP. Really good. And we've rolled well. 80k in the treasury. We lost some fan factor as a result of that. My god, our fans are fickle, aren't they? And who... Oh, really? Number 16? You're our, you're our star player there? And what... what sorry, what did, what did you do to earn that, man? This player was not found. Apparently, he doesn't exist anymore. Let's have a look at the SPP. Sigur Boriston, that's his name, isn't it? Yes, so he does still exist. Um, statistics. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's what it is. It's, it's, it, it's, it, it's, it's what it is, you know? You have been promoted to the higher level competition for the next league season. The Silver Division and the Mega Cup. Damn, is that not exciting. My goodness me. So here we are in the Mega Cup round one of four. So I take it it's just a... Oh, lordy. Oh, lord. How many teams are in the Mega Cup? Sorry. Oh, oh, is it... F I think it's... I believe it's four teams from each division and it's just a knockout. That would make sense. There's that many. So we're playing the Shady Scratchers. The Shady Scratchers, let's have a look at where they're from. The Shady Scratchers, can we see them on here? We can see them on here. So they, oh, we've not faced goblins yet, have we? That's a funny looking kit, isn't it? They've got some big players, some big players, but I think that's a, Our magic that's, a, that's, a really that's something we might be able to that's win. Let's have a look at what league they're job. in. Let's have a look at our competition there. No, that's the wrong... Uh, I guess we I guess we play this. So we're in the postseason. Not sure where these guys are from, whether they're gold, bronze, silver, platinum, whatever. They're certainly not bronze, so they're certainly better than us in the first round here. So it's going to... Oh, no, we can just go on Old World League and let's look at them. Let's look for them. Um, so they... Well, we know they're not in the bronze division. Let's have a look at the silver division. The shady scratchers we're looking for. Oh, so they won the silver division with a 6-2-1 record. So they're a team not to be messed with. They're going to be in the gold division next season as much as we're in the silver division. So that is going to be a hard game for us. But look at these fellas. So 16 does exist. There he is. There he is with some SPP. Not bad. We've got one more level up just to round off the season. The... Uh, yeah, the season with us. I bit my tongue again there. What's wrong with me? Okay, and we're going to get strength or general here for Crankfell. Well, strength, it would be nice to have another guy with mighty blow, wouldn't it? Yes, let's do that. Lovely, lovely. We're going to be hurting some folk here. Very, very, very nice. Okay, well, brilliant work. What a good season. A very, very good regular season. We want to have a look at our team, though, really, and, you know... Who's our MVP of regular season? We've got the postseason to go, but let's have a look. Statistics, that's not going to be uh, player by player, is it? Hmm. So, 
all matches. Our average score was one. I just thought it was more than that. Successful catches, two, 14 touchdowns, 23 casualties. We killed five people, man. Not bad, really, is it? Let's have a look, though. Let's have a look at our team roster. And let's see, because Boriston, I want to have a look at statistics for some guys. So he got... How many, how many touchdowns did you score, my man? He injured three guys. That's pretty good. Um, seven injuries sustained. Really? Crikey. Poor guy. One KO, one casualties. I'm trying to look at how many touchdowns. He did, hang on. How is it saying he scored zero touchdowns? He scored a touchdown. Oh, God. That's our lineman. Sorry. I thought I was looking at number 11. I'll throw it here. Boris Staffson. For some reason, I clicked on the wrong guy. So this guy, this guy scored two touchdowns, made two passes. Felt like more than that, really. He made better ones than that. So, yeah. Dragmal is our best player on paper. But I've got to say, I've got to give, I've got to give our MVP to this guy. Number three. Five touchdowns scored as a lineman. Didn't do much in the way of injuries, but he made some great plays. Let's have a look. Compared to our runners who are there to score touchdowns, number three made five. This guy scored three. That's still pretty good uh, for number nine there. And number ten scored... Oh, my goodness me. It's number number ten scored two. Everyone's done well, but I think definitely Lauren Duthak, our MVP of the regular season. Who's going to be our MVP of the postseason? Who knows? Who's our starting lineup? Well, it's not going to be one or two. I think, we ha I think, I think what we do is we take 13 and 14 in for one and two linemen and then that you see is our starting lineup there but it's very exciting i can't wait to get into the postseason i hope to see you there thanks for watching i'll see you later